Hi, my name is Elias Alba and welcome to this short video about how to mount a motion sensor on a circuit breaker with an AHMA operating mechanism. Here we have our CDTN3, which can fit up to three analog and three digital motion sensors. Next up, we have our linear motion sensor for AHMA circuit breakers. We also need our spacing bracket, which is needed to ensure that the linear sensor is in parallel with the movable rod. Last but not least, we also need our tools to make sure that the sensor is fitted properly to the breaker. The circuit breaker is in a safe state when the spring is discharged and the circuit breaker is open. Currently, you can see that the spring is charged and therefore we have to discharge the spring. On this certain breaker type, we also have to release some pressure after the spring is discharged to make sure that the pressure is on zero. Before we start mounting the motion sensor, we have to use the adjustment bracket to make sure that the linear transducer is in parallel with the movable rod. Now we start with the installation of the linear transducer. After a successful installation of our motion sensor, we can start connecting the sensor to the TN3. First, we hang the TN3 to the circuit breaker with our elastic rope. After that, we connect the TN3 with the Sibano 500 with the EtherCAD connection. After the connection to the Sibano is established, we can connect the sensor with the TN3. Now we are ready to start the measurement. The measurement results can be analyzed with our primary test manager software. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact our technical support via phone or email. Thank you very much for watching.